Shalom. Falling on sure. <clears throat> yes, I'm alright. I, I had a couple emails of people like, Falling on sure. Usually, you do a couple videos each week. Where are you? I'm right here. I'm good. It's been a long week. Getting ready for Pentecost. Looking forward to having. <laughs> Uh, well, three of the four, I'm um, calling the, 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 the four brothers. Uh, but Brother David, Brother Manny, uh, myself, and House of uh Brother Andre. He won't be able to make it, but uh, I miss you, brother. Um, but still looking forward to uh, Pentecost and fellowship. Hallelujah. Um, I have an ever shrinking circle. And sisters, I want you all to hear this also in regards to the sisters chat. Um, Cause a lot of sisters have asked my, uh, have asked uh, the daughters of Sarah, uh, Zion, Rivka, and Abigail questions about the chat. And the reason why I did the chat was because I wanted there to be a safe place for sisters to communicate. I wanted there to be a safe place for the sisters to communicate, to be able to share, to encourage each other, you can post videos, you can post pictures, you can respond to each other. But there's always a constant encouragement without, you know, uh, without the distractions of, of others. That's why I'm going to be a safe place for y'all. So no, I am not in the chat. It is ran by the sisters, but I am, I guess you call the overseer. So sisters, please um, keep it cordial. Keep it, you know, keep things how they're supposed to be in order because this chat is about order so if somebody goes in there flapping their gums and causing problems we're just going to do the block in because I'm letting them know from the get go I told the sisters we're just blocking and booting it's about encouragement it's about doing things righteously and in order it's not about an opportunity for you to go and slander somebody like they said or talk about somebody or talk about your, your head it's not what we're doing and that kind of goes along with the ever shrinking circle that I have you know, I do have a circle of people that I do fellowship with, but it gets smaller and smaller because I'm realizing that there is a a true lack of seriousness that people are, aren't as serious as what they say they are when it, in regards to their faith. Uh, people are completely comfortable, and they're doing everything they possibly can to stay within this little construct that they have of, of being comfortable. I don't feel like I have to leave the city, then don't. I feel I don't have to wear a head covering, then don't. I can wear jeans, then wear them. I could go out with my friends, then go. Okay? You know, it's, it's, it's. The Bible already says the road is narrow. There are going to be few. So it's not a surprise to me when I see people cling onto the world because there's only going to be a few. And I spent so much time trying to get those that were in the world to come out that I didn't pay attention to the ones that were already out of developing friendships with them. So what I'm doing in my circle now is I'm, uh, you know, those that are truly striving to come out of this system, I'm there and I want to help. But I can't take away the time and the energy and the efforts I can't take away that from those that are doing it to give it to those that don't care to do it there are people who are literally they're just so they just want they just want time they just want you to talk to them I don't have time to just sit there and talk and, and shoot the crap and how are you doing well I'm doing good great yeah so what you do today I don't have time for that because there are those that are truly seeking who want real fellowship who want well brotherhood who want to come out So I had to shrink that circle a little bit more to make sure that those that are truly trying, not hate the word trying, those that are truly striving in this to do it, that they get the time. You know, I know people say, well, you sure went to the centers and da, 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 da. I get that. I do. But we're in a time and in a place now where the devil's presenting a lot of distractions. A lot of people are there just to eat up time. And time, we saw, what, 29,000 days? A video I did about a couple weeks ago, we only had 29,000 days. 
If I waste one on a person who's not really striving, I don't get that day back. And that time could have been better spent on somebody that was really putting forth the efforts. Really putting forth the efforts to live this thing. You want to be coming out, um, living a set of our life, wanting help, uh, questions. I mean, my inbox is inundated with questions. And, and, and one of the things that I, I, it always interests me is, but don't you all have pastors and elders where you already are? <laughs> I don't, you're asking me these questions. It's humbling, but I thought you already had a leadership where you were to go through. Because if you're expecting me to overthrow your leadership or speak over your leadership, no, if you're submitted to a certain particular people, then go there. Don't come to me then, you know, because daddy gave you an answer you don't like. So you want to come to me now and ask me the question so I can give you an answer that you like. No. If that's when you're submitted, go there and ask them the question. But there's, there's, there's a lot of that even going on. So I'm just not interested in, in that game. So I'm not, I, I keep shrinking that circle. You know, uh, talking with the, 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 the four brothers a uh, couple this week, just seeing so much crap, seeing, seeing so much crap. It makes me thankful that you have, you know, brethren that are really striving, really truly moving in this thing so yes it's an ever shrinking circle and you know what it's okay it's okay and sometimes we need to do that we need to it's like you know you go to people and I don't have a Facebook but I remember when you know, people were running around well I got you know 7,000 friends on my Facebook and like, how many of those people do you actually know how many do you actually have friendships with how many do you actually fellowship with or talk to this is not about a popularity contest not it's not about numbers it's about the few. We read it, you know, uh, 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 were there for this last Shabbat, the gathering we had on YouTube. We talked about Gideon, the 300. The 300. Y'all kept cutting it down. There's too many. Send the ones that are scared home. All right, now the ones that uh, lap up the water like a dog, send them home. Y'all doesn't need a whole... You know, boatload of people. He doesn't need it. What he needs is a few that are serious, that are going to walk this thing out. The few who are on the narrow road, not the ones that are on the broad road. So I'm always looking for narrow road fellowship, narrow road uh, uh, brethren. Those that are truly, earnestly, and honestly seeking because they want to live this thing right so that my circle will be those that truly love the Father and not those that are just I'm just wanting to be in every, every circle I could possibly be in because I just I just no I'm about serious brethren and if you haven't noticed that I'm pretty strong about that anyways uh, hope you all have a blessed day uh the sisters will have a live stream, I believe, Thursday, tomorrow. They're going to have one. Oh. Uh, and then Shabbat, we will have our our, our uh, seventh day, in, you know, seventh day uh, stream. So until then, bless you all. Shalom.